हे गाइस वेलकम वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू द पाबे प्रो टिप्स बाय टीचर्स इन द टुडेस वीडियो लेट अस गो अहेड एंड क्रिएट अ कैलेंडर टेबल बाय यूजिंग डैक्स इन अ पाबे रिपोर्ट लेट अस ओपन अ पाबे डेस्कटॉप एंड ओपन आवर सैंपल पाबे रिपोर्ट सो इन माय पाबे रिपोर्ट आई बेसिकली हैव द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस इट दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ द सेगमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन द कंट्री इंफॉर्मेशन the product information discount band sales price manufacturing price and so on so in order to create a calendar table let us go to table tools and create a new table and <laughs> name our table as calendar we basically have two functions to create a calendar all right the first function is calendar and the second function is calendar auto the more flexible usage would be by calendar function so let us go ahead and select the calendar function and over here as you could see by the intelligence we have the two options in order to specify in a calendar function first one would be the start date and the second one would be the end date so let us go ahead and select the start date or the minimum date present in our data set that is financials so in order to do that let us select minimum of financials date so over here the square and select that and now let us go ahead and select the maximum of financials date all right let us go ahead and close the calendar function so it would be calendar of minimum of financial state comma maximum of financial state in one other way this specifies the total range of dates present in the financial status set now if we click on enter we get the complete date list present with respect to the data set now let us straight away go ahead and create the important columns of a date table let us create the first column as quarter number new column Let us name it as quarter, which is equivalent to. Let us go ahead and take it as Q, as I would like to concatenate quarter number with the Q. Q into the quarter function. Let us go ahead and select the date field over here. That would be calendar of date dot quarter number. This basically gives us the four different quarters that would be by this table. Now let us go ahead and create another column specifying month number. Month number is equivalent to format the calendar of date, comma. Let us go ahead and name the name this as month name, and create month number later. Calendar calendar of date, and the month name is denoted by triple M. Let us go ahead and close that by using format function. We are retrieving the month name. Okay, now let us go ahead and create another column by month number. month number is equivalent to the month function of the calendar day that's it okay now similarly let us go ahead and create the year column as well so we would that year year function and then specify the calendar of date field that's it we pretty much have most of the important attributes or the parameters present in a date field so this is how you create a calendar table in a power bi report by using a dax formula so this particular procedure is very handy very easy to use 
and really very friendly i have used it personally so this is how we use a, a, a date a date field in a power bi report and this is how you create a calendar table in a power bi report so that's it for today guys make sure that you practice this guys make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss me in the upcoming videos